Well, hello. Here we have the Dan family. It's uh, Nan and Anne. And well, Felipe and I, you already know <laughs> us. And um, well, the other day I was in Facebook and I happened to see a post about trust on Pinecrest and that really called my attention. And that's why we're sitting here. So please tell us a little bit about what was that post about and everything. <laughs> Well, thank you for having us here, and we would love to share our story. Um, first of all, we want to introduce ourselves. We are immigrants from Vietnam. We met, um, we were both youth leader at our church, and we met um, through our youth leader at the Holy Vietnamese Martyr Catholic Church. And we've been married almost 13 years. This year will be almost 13 years. And we have six kids and one on the way Yay. and two in heaven. So that's actually a total of nine. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So the, I mean, the story that you've seen on Facebook toward the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, um, our businesses have been facing challenges for the last few years. And it's like, it's either we make it or break it kind of thing. And one of the decision, difficult decision that we had to make um, at the um, beginning of 2020 was during the re-enrollment, we would not be able to put our kids back in Pinecrest until we get our businesses stable again. And we cried the, through that decision. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, and we told the kids, uh, I mean, we told the kids and they burst into tears. And we, I mean, we didn't think it would be a hard conversation with them, but it was the hardest conversation that we have to tell them. And they're like, is there any way that, you know, they can help us to continue at Pinecrest? And we told them, you know, you just pray and trust in God and he will take care of us. So every night, I mean, they've been praying like, you know, for mommy and daddy to have money for them to continue at Pinecrest for the last five years, but then, but then during those times, they pray even more. And at one point, Dominic was like, do God even answer our prayers? And we told them he will answer our prayers, but then sometimes it's a yes, sometimes it's a no, sometimes it's a maybe, but in his due times. So by end of May, we received the news that a generous donor have made it possible for our five kids to be here at Pinecrest oh, this wow. year. For another year. For another year. And we came back to Dominic. We told him, see, God does answer your prayers. Yeah. You just need to trust. And, you know, even if he takes us out of Pinecrest, you know, we have to trust that he will make something greater out of it. Oh, it's yeah. a beautiful story. <laughs> <laughs> and and I think that 2020 was a very, you know, uh, like unique year with what happened with the pandemic yeah uh, everybody's businesses were uh impacted by 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 this uh, uh covid 19 thing and i think that that your example of trust is is absolutely uh powerful and beautiful so how how did that 2020 brought to you these these challenges and how did you cope with them and and how did you trusted in in god's providence and in each other right. to work it out man well i remember it very clearly um christmas 2019 was the you know the worst christmas of my life it was throbbing it was you know i was like torn down um, and then god you know sent us people to help me work through that stress in fact he, he sent me father lino through the legionaries um, to help me work through that trust and just do to and, and when I was able to go through that process of trustful surrender to God I finally had peace and, and the chest pains went away and I, I can sleep better at night um, so through all that struggle God helped us understand more and 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 to to you know all the blessings he gave us through 2020 and it became one of the best years we've had professionally uh, but when you're going through it, <laughs> <laughs> the sleepless nights is that you don't. Yeah, of, trust, yeah. of, of prayer, of right. uh, you know, family, uh, working together as a family with yes. your children in prayer. I think the, the fruits are evident, and and we are very happy that things are working out for you guys. Thank and you. And I would just like to to 
reinforce what you mentioned is not even considering divorce, right? It's right. just trusting things are going to be better, right. praying about it with the kids, you know, sharing with them a little bit of the difficulties that also helps, you know, so, and, and letting others help, you know? That yes, actually, very much so. We had a stranger. You, you want to sell that? Sorry. Well, uh, he normally go to Mass, like daily Mass at 6.30 at St. Bridget, and he was just, you were just praying one day, and then there was uh, a parishioner there just hand him a envelope with like a thousand dollars cash. At the time, we needed the most, no. so I think it's God, you know, it's the problem of the Holy Spirit, and and you know, Father Dominic always tell us that you know, no matter what happened to our businesses, we always be able to bounce back in no time. But the important is our relationship with each other, because our kids will look at us on how we work it out together and they are set by that so that's what father dominic always tell us to <laughs> right to it doesn't matter where other. we live whether in a little apartment or go to public yeah. school or go to pinecrest it's really our relationship that set the tone for their happiness and for their uh, their example they get for the rest of their life whenever they get married or whatever their vocation is in life well, thank you so much for your mm -hmm. time and uh, we are delighted to have you in this video series. Uh -huh.